Ladies, gentlemen, one or welcome to Vermintide 2. Yes, a game which, uh, beyond the... Well, I might have to agree with you there, because, yes, the, uh, the Necromancer class is now out, or Korea is now out for, uh, for Sienna, the class that I don't actually have level 20 with, uh, level 30 with. She's only level 19. I was never really a fan of Sienna as such, which is funny because I quite like the Psyker from Dark Tide, but uh, yes, I never really got her uh, leveled up properly. So this is going to be interesting because uh, obviously we're not going to be able to see just quite what it's fully capable of, but we can certainly give it a look-see. Um, but yeah, beyond the... Um, Beyond that updated video, uh, I've never actually featured Vermintide 2 on the channel. I have played it a fair amount. I wouldn't say I'm like hundreds and hundreds of hours into it, but uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, crap bomb, why not? That's what I'm messing around out here. Whee! We're off to a good start. Um... So, right, Necromancer. Something that I have been very much uh, wanting in Vermintide was a sort of pet class, which, uh, well, the Necromancer most certainly is. That's kind of a uh, shtick. So, how does the class work? Well, I've literally just opened the game, so we're going to find out together. But from the looks of it... Uh, that's how you summon your skeletons. That's your uh, that's your F ability. Stab. Well, slice more. So only do 1.5 damage, but I think if I yes, I can double their damage by combining them to attack with my f four item. Apparently, I can get them to defend an area. which will increase their defense. So I can have them line up by right click, left mouse, and then they will go and, okay. Right, that's fine by me. Um, anything else interesting? Okay, so we've got this new staff here. So that's just that. And we have brain burst, okay. That's cool. Uh, and we can use R to uh, reset our heat. Where are you going? Get back here, Gerald. Ugh. Right. Okay. Uh, so let's have a look at our talents. I've already selected some talents, at least up to the, the point where I'm actually at. Uh, right. So what do we got? Malediction of Nagash. Sienna's flames now burn with a cold, unearthly light that saps enemy vigor, causing them to suffer 20% additional damage from Sienna and her servants. Go. Cool. That sounds fun. Uh, Ray's dead. Yep, we know about that. So, career skill. Uh, Mistress of Death. We know about that. Uh, she can release them to ventilate overcharge. Ah, right. So, how do I. Right, that's. Let's just overcharge a little bit. So, how do I do that? Ah, right. Equip the item on four, and then press R on one of your skeletons. Cool. And you can have a maximum of six skeletons. Right. Uh, cold flames. Sienna's damage over time effects last 100% longer. Mm, that's quite good. Uh, life taker. Killing an enemy grants 2% critical for 5 seconds. And my microphone is in the way. Uh, max 5 stacks. Cool. That's... I imagine crit bills being quite strong then. We'll get into why in a moment. Uh, icon of death. So yeah, that's just the thing that I've been... Uh, there we go, there's the death release. Attack command, defend command. 
Uh, pressing it twice selects her carried potions. So she can still carry potions. That's good. Right. Talents. Uh, corpse make. Yeah. Damaging multiple enemies in one swing with a melee weapon. Grants temporary health. Max five. Uh, enemies. Death either. Melee killing blows restore temporary health based on the health of the same enemy. These are all just the same as the uh, standard talents. And life leeching. Van Hell's Dance Macabre. Yes, that is that. That is an actual spell uh, in the lore of vampires, I think. Uh, Sienna gains 12% attack speed when four or more skeletons are raised. Uh, sounds alright. Death Ascendant. Casting spells grants 5% increased range power for six seconds. Uh, you're really going to be doing that that often, though? I don't think you are. When it says casting spells, what specific spells is it on about? Like, does it mean just... Okay, so, yeah, using your ranged attacks, basically. Cool. Uh... So the more you fire off your ranged attack, the more powerful it becomes, basically. And the one I selected, Reaping, critical strikes have unlimited cleave and 25% increased power. Which sounds ridiculous, so obviously we're going to go for that one. Uh, then Mainstay, Smiter, and Enhanced Power are all the standard talents for the level 15. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with Smiter. Uh, first enemy hit always counts as staggered, yeah. Right, equipment. So yes, we have the scythe, the soul seed, the staff. Okay, it's, uh, I'm going to have to um, get me some new weapons because the skull up there. That is a very nice dress, though. I will give her. I'll give her that. It's very stylish. I, I'm not sure I approve too much of the. Uh, it's not even just this itself. It's the practicality of having a giant flesh collar. I mean, surely that's going to start to smell after a while. Yeah, well, what would I, uh, what would I know? I could probably change it. But yeah, I can't actually, I don't actually have any of those. I did not get the, uh, the actual pack. Uh, well, obviously we're going to go for the zinch. Uh, Why wouldn't I? Yeah, I don't have the Slanesh one or the Nurgle one. But hey. Yeah. Alright, so I have rambled for eight minutes about this. So, now that we've had a quick investigation as to what stuff is, uh, I'm going to go make some new equipment. Um, hopefully, I'm going to make some vaguely decent equipment. It's not going to be like Red Deer, but. I don't actually think I have that much in terms of, uh... Yeah, I've got 35 scraps, so... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. And 81 salvage weapon parts. Mm. Well, I'll see what I can do, and, uh... When I come back, I'll show the, uh... I'll show what I've made, and then we will go on a little, uh, a little mission, just an easy one, just to uh, introduce the class, and uh, it will be with the AI because it's me. So, back in a moment. Okay, I didn't really get much good. Uh, I got a couple of blue items out of it, and uh, things are not spectacular. I will admit. Uh, so we've got a. Viserix Verdigreised Verdigreised Vanquisher? I think it's Verdigreised. It's quite a name you have there. Uh, 297 power and plus 6% power versus Skaven and 18% block cost reduction. Yeah, not spectacular. I was hoping for crit chance. I did not get it. Sounds about right. And with the Clatter Staff, aka Solstice Staff, I got uh, 295 power, 
plus 7 and plus 6 versus Berserkers and Skaven, respectively. Again, was more hoping for something along the lines of crit chance, but what can you do? Uh, I have also equipped a fetish of more with bark skin, so plus 15% health, 24% block cost reduction, so my blocking is going to be great. <laughs> Watch me never block. Um, I'm only playing on veteran after all, so it's not like a, I'm going to die from one hit. Uh, taking damage reduces the damage you take from subsequent sources by 40% for 2 seconds. So hopefully I shouldn't get ganked too much. Although with my minions, hopefully I won't get ganked at all. I've got a Squire's Ring with Decanter for the increased duration of potions, plus 9% versus armor and plus 4.6% attack speed. And I, I do have oranges here that could increase my grenades, but uh, honestly I went for the uh, plus 5% crit chance with the Lucky Rat Skull. Uh, 280 power and some stamina recovery. So that is what I am running. Let us get into a game and see what the Necromancer can do because like I said I have very much been looking forward to this. Uh, let's go, uh, let's not go on champion, let's go on veteran for now. Uh, stick to Helmgar. We just do righteous stand. Maybe we just do righteous stand. Let's uh, go up. Do righteous stand. Everyone likes righteous stand, right? I don't know. See, I'm surprised, right? Yeah, saying Vida would be uh, certainly interesting. I just noticed how small uh, Sienna is in comparison to <laughs> in comparison to Gruber. All right, let's see how well. It's just me. I was really quiet. The uh, volume a little bit. All right. Uh, yeah. So, do I just spawn skeletons right away? Is that my is that my shtick? Okay. Thanks for that, Gruber. Hey, I got a kill, and I got a uh, text as well. That's not uh, it's black. Wait, what? What the hell? What hurt me? I am very confused about what's hurting me. Is there a hidden effect? Uh, you know what? Screw it. Raise skeletons. Get him! Oh, wow. <laughs> Went right through him. Uh, this is a veteran, I suppose. Activity. Slice. Oh crap, not anymore. Poor flames. <laughs> no. Gun. Where? It's over here. I can hear it. Stomping about. Hello! Ooh, this, this spread. It does. And it. Oh, wait a minute! Is this something I've just never noticed with Sienna? Her. Bye bye. Uh, her. Um... Oh, hurts her. Ah. Shows how much I've played Sienna, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, oh well. 
Uh, do we grab the Grim Well, mm. Well, firstly, let's get over here. Let's set up my skeletons as a distraction. Or they could all just wander off and do their own thing. Cool, that works well. Ow. Rude. So, I'm kind of setting fire to some of them. Uh... Skeletons are doing quite well. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> this might be a problem. Ooh, wow. Bitch, bitch. This is a... A strong weapon. Oi, get off. So you might have just seen it there. Basically, whenever Sienna gets disabled, her skeletons go into a sort of inert state. I suppose I might as well grab this one with me. Do, 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 do. Hello. Uh, guys, come on. Go with me. We're going on an adventure! Kill him! Rattle those boats. <laughs> uh, stab. I hear another hook rat. I am about as accurate as normal, I see. Uh, is it? No. Ah, there you go. Yeah, if one of you can pick up the time, that's good. Although I will need to make sure he does not drop it this time, like uh, he did in the... Uh, where? Oh, right in front of me. Bye-bye. Let's kill these guys first and then we'll... Uh, Missed. Not anymore, you don't. And the assassin, where is he? There, evidently. Right, let's go over here. Yes, indeed. I am down to four skeletons, so. I'll be a little bit careful of that. Come like the tide, like a vermin tide, you might say. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not stick here. This is probably a bad idea. I can't see it. Can I like do what I do in dark tide and just? Also, why do I hear a rattling gun? Really, you don't say. I should really be up against the wall. The thing is, I'm kind of used to playing on champion now. Like I was, I was going through the game. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going through the game with Swanky, and yeah, he's managed to get me up to champion. But. Uh, now I'm used to playing on that. The veteran seems uh, like a bit of a walk in the park. Is that is that open? Am I just killing things now unnecessarily? Uh, yes. What's going on? Oh, God damn it, Krillian. Is it dead? No. <laughs> this was a mistake. Skeletons, help. Uh, attack the attack the thing! <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, see, this is what happens when I go to help my allies. <laughs> okay. I like how I've just said that uh, veteran seems like walking park now, and then I go jump directly into a fire rat. Do it all, suckers!
They look quite cool, actually. I quite like them. Let's go. Let's see if I can actually accomplish something vaguely competent. Uh, is this really necessary? I cannot see a thing. It's too much blood on the screen. Which is exactly where a necromancer wants to be. Well, actually, a necromancer wants to be behind their minions. But, whatever. Okay. Kruber's still got that tome. Yes, he has. Though I'm pretty sure I've missed one. I, can't, I can never remember... You're missing an arm, sir. I can't see him. He's gonna despawn if I get up there, probably. Mine. He stairs go up. You don't say. Yeah, he's despawned. Get. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, I remember. There's one where you have to walk. Where are you going? Uh, you have to walk along some of these shells, and oh, I can't be bothered with that right now. So. Run along. Any specials? Mm. Well, that's a special, but not quite the one I was uh, hoping for. Uh. Right. Skeletons, go punch it. Preferably don't get punched yourselves. He looks angry. Oh god! You okay, Gruba? You need a potion? Oh, he's fine. Uh, I did lose all my skeletons, sadly. But are you gonna pick up Amicrillion? You're already full, apparently. Must be getting a lot of headshots. I think I have her with the bow that regenerates arrows on a headshot. I think. I can't remember. At least I assume that the uh, the AI does get those benefits as well. But what now about to charge? Ah, oh, plague mugs. I don't know how they managed to just disappear through the stairs, but you know what? We'll uh, go with it. Where? There he is. There he is, down there. Can I, like, just sort of... Oh! I don't think I can. I was hoping I could, like, just sort of arc the thing over the top and uh, hit him from there. Because it does seem to be homing, the uh, abilities, or the ranged attack from that stuff. Yeah, well. Just give him a little bit of defence. Quite the slow cooldown on this, uh, on this, ow, uh, raised dead ability, but I'm not overly surprised. Why is that gas rat? I also hear a assassin. I think I got him. Oi! Hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Do I? I assume my skeletons get affected by the uh, the gas, right? I don't know. Seems to. 
Which one? That one. Get in the way of it because it will. Oh joy! It's uh, maybe over here. Like the I'm looking forward to this. Uh, well, honestly, we'll like the fuse once the horde has died down a bit. Come on then! You want some? Yeah, it's because Shaman didn't bring, uh... Oh, we totally should have brought, um... What's his face along? Oh, one eye. Salt Spire, that's the... That's the... Yeah, we should have brought him along. He would have been, uh... He would have been all fun and games. Uh... We hit the wall. Yeah, that was the plan. We technically got to fight at the gate, I suppose. But, yeah, got us a way in. I'm not complaining. I've just realised Kruber put down the uh, the tome, didn't he? Yeah, that doesn't matter. So it looks like, as well, my skeletons cannot be hit by uh, assassins. And splat. And then can I target one of my skeletons? No, because he just died. Well. Clearly, I just need some more. Ha, I staggered you. You know... <laughs> Did Kruber just shoot it or something? It just seemed to spontaneously combust. I'm guessing Kruber shot it. Because... Kruber with a hand cannon, like, or a handgun is, like, really, really strong. Let's, let's put it that way. I could probably have equipped the Huntsman class on him, but, eh. I don't know, I like the mercenary because of his uh, temporary health thing. Why is my skeleton going down there? Well, I guess I'm going down with him. Good. Yeah, I'll get another... Uh, another horde. Just what I always wanted. More things to kill, I guess. There now. Did I manage to hit the barrel? Nope. I was hoping to hit the barrel, but. Mm, as usual. Well, that was completely ineffective. We stab. Yeah, he definitely died. No. I'm a necromancer now. I've got my vampire accounts in this game and I don't care. See, I thought... I always thought that the vampire accounts or the Tomb Kings or another faction like that would be good for a tied game. Because... Well, they're undead. That's kind of the classic, uh, classic thing, isn't it? 
Uh, I suppose I'll go here and get this fight. Is it a tome or a grimoire? I can't remember. Uh, it is a tome. Uh, screw it, I'll take it. If I need healing, uh, I'll just have to rely on Kruber. It's not like my skeletons are going to uh, do it, are they? I probably could have actually used the uh, used the potion. Guess right, you say? Just. Uh... Burn them all. Uh, yeah, preferably not like in terms of killing myself. That effect at the edge of the screen is very subtle in comparison to uh, the usual, from what I remember. Though it could just be I'm used to Dark Tides now. Okay, sort off. I agree, everything is better with friends. Uh, do that. Get some of my juice back. Set him on fire, and up we go. Right, so I am quite far away from uh, having another skeleton, though, so I want to be a little bit careful with that. How the hell did you miss me? Uh, where is he? I can't see him. Can you see him? Well, I managed to avoid it. Where is he? I don't actually know where he is. We're not ready because the... Uh... There you are. Ring. It's at this point, uh, Kaldar has found out that he really should have brought an AoE weapon that wasn't his scythe. Because, yes, you can use the uh, original weapons of Sienna with the, um, the Necromancer. It is um, much like all the other careers. That's not what the subtitle says! Kill. Ooh. Storm vermin. Get them. I can't see anything. Okay, where's the next lot over? Yes, we must definitely kill them. Just stay back here and make sure things like that don't happen. There you are. Down you go. I lost another... Wait, it's the... I have never noticed the, uh, the Skaven actually suffering from the gas. I was assumed they didn't. How are we doing? Not doing too badly. Oi! Kruber, it's kind of your job to watch out for the specials. Also, I hear a. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely not meant for killing specials. Although, well, I probably would be if I was using the right attack, but, you know, details. 
Uh, I am out of skeletons. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using them because we've got frothers. Splat. Hook rats. Not anymore. Oh, no! Oh, nope, I'm nearly out of. Uh, Specials. Skeletons to me. I hear a rat. Uh, well, I hear a lot of rats, but hook rats specifically. Lake monks. I just. Heard. Yep. Well, <laughs> he came down and got immediately ganked by skeletons. Sounds about right. Uh, ah, there we go, we done it. There is absolutely no way that I can die now. Ooh, ripe harvest. Yes, indeed. I mean, I suppose technically, how much damage would dropping from the top here do? I mean, I suppose you could... You probably could die here. But hey, what can you do? Victorious! Woo! the paper straw in too long. Yes, I went to Burger King for uh, for tea and uh, got me a drink and the paper straw seems to have um, done paper straw things. Uh, what do we get? Merchant's coffer. Nah. I wasn't expecting much to be honest. Not bad for me. Fair amount of total kills. Now, what was that? Uh, what was that challenge? I'm guessing that's going to be um, for killing so many people with. Could be a long night tonight. I've got one of my feelings. Good for you. Uh, have skeletons come on to uh, to defend. Take 400 damage in 10 seconds. Uh -huh. Right, harvest hit 100 headshots with the Ensorcelled Reaper. Excellent. Oh, I'm now level 20. I didn't notice that. Uh, complete all Helmcart missions on recruit difficulty as Battle Wizard. Are there, are there ones that I've not completed in Helmcart as Sienna? Uh, Yes, yes there is. So, Athul Yen Lui. Hail Scourge. That looks to be... Uh, uh, Fort Brachen... Br Braxenbrocker? Braxenbrocker. My German pronunciation is not spectacular. If it wasn't evident. I get the good out of that. Or is it... This is where I get something that's immediately better than my current weapon. No. That's a shame. Oh well. Ooh. Dry... Dryberg's Disintegrator Beam Staff. Hey. My least favourite staff. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> you make do with what you get. I can break it down for materials, it's fine. Shut him down there. 
But yeah, so that was uh, it's a quick game of the Necromancer. Seems quite fun so far. Might have to have a few more games of it. Um, so, one quick thing I was going to say, uh, I was going to say right at the start of the video, but um, I was going to sort of mention the, um, the lore perspective of this. So, this is set in the end times, right? And there was... Now, I'm not, like, spectacular when it comes to lore, uh, especially with um, fantasy, Warhammer fantasy. But from my understanding, Nagash somehow returned um, and then unbound was it the Wind of Death or something. And basically quite a lot of uh, wizards were suddenly able to use necromancy, including, and not limited to, everyone's favourite uh, favourite um, Destro wannabe, uh, Balthazar Gelt. So, uh, the law friendliness of this is, um, well, it could happen, is all I'm saying. I mean, yeah, Soul Spire would probably not like this very much. I mean, he's a witch hunter after all. Um, I can't imagine that uh, Kruber would be particularly happy with it either. I mean, he is part of the Empire, and, you know, the Empire and Sylvania don't really have the uh, best relationship, necessarily. But... Eh, I think that's... Isn't that what these uh, fourth careers are meant to be? Like, what-if scenarios? I don't know. I don't really care about the lore perspective of it. I just thought I'd mention it. As long as it's fun. It's fun. And so far, this certainly seems fun. So, with all that said, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, this is currently only, uh, this career is currently only three pounds, uh, British pounds, uh, or your regional equivalent, depending on what Steam's regional pricing decided to do this uh, particular day. So, uh, it's not actually all that pricey, I was expecting it to be a little bit more, but uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. But, uh, yeah, so... Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, I have been... Kaldaris. Goodbye.